Okay, you guys, let's get these seasonings cracking. So we're going to do one teaspoon of onion powder. One teaspoon of red chip crushed chili peppers. We're going to do one teaspoon of garlic pepper. I think I'm going to do a little, just a tiny bit more than a teaspoon. Okay. I'm going to do almost a tablespoon of seasoning salt. Okay, it's not completely a full tablespoon. And then we're going to do the same thing with the garlic powder. Okay, not completely a full tablespoon. And then we're going to go back in with the teaspoon and do the parsley flakes. And we're just going to make that a heaping teaspoon. Okay. So we're going to get this all mixed up. And you know what? While I'm mixing that, I cut up my zucchini and my squash. And what we're going to do... Where's the salt? Oh. We're going to take a little salt. Sprinkle all over that. So we want these to sweat a little. So that when we cook them, they won't be so hard to soften up. Just give them a shake. Put a little more salt in there, and we're just going to let these sit over to the side and sweat a little. Okay, you don't have to worry about it being too much salt, because I'm not going to, once they sweat out, I'm not going to put the juice in the pan. Okay, this is just to get them softened up. Sweat a little. We're going to put these over to the side. That's the squash, the yellow squash, and the zucchini. Okay? And we're going to go on and mix this. And then we're going to get started. Hey, beautiful people. Welcome back to Rolling with BJ in the Kitchen. Tonight, I am doing this little shrimp sausage vegetable medley. It's just something that I like to make um, for my lunch for the week. So, we are going to use some shrimp, some smoked sausage, and I just sliced it up. It's the rope sausage. Let me show you the package. Okay, so this is how it comes in that little round shape. Okay, and I just sliced it up. And then... We have our zucchini and our yellow squash. Okay. We have one chopped onion, a half of jalapeno, and it was a huge one. So that's why it's only half. So if you get a small one, chop the whole thing. I took the inside out, so it's not going to be real, real hot. The jalapeno is just for the spicy, you know, the little flavor it gives. But it's not going to be real hot. And then I also chopped up some celery. Okay. So that's the jalapeno and the celery right there. And then, you know, I can't live without my garlic. So I chopped up three or maybe four garlic cloves. So that's what we have right there. And then tonight I am cooking on my Precision 1800 um, stovetop. 
I'm going to put this vegetable oil in this skillet. And we're just going to saute these shrimp right quick. I got to show y'all my new little toy I got. It's from Princess House, as you probably know. Everything comes from Princess House, basically, that I use. Uh-oh. Okay, so... Let me show you guys. Okay. Can you see it? Okay. So we're just going to put these shrimp in here and saute them real quick. I'm trying to let the skillet get hot. So I programmed this for 300. So when the temperature gets to 300, then it'd be time for me to put the shrimp in. I didn't season the shrimp this time because we're going to season them with the rest of the vegetables and sausage once we get them all done. Okay, so I'll be back when the skillet, when the uh, precision cooker get on 300. Okay, you guys, I'm going to start putting these shrimp in here and saute these shrimp. Just gonna get these cooked up a little. Then we're gonna cook the sausage up a little. We're gonna saute this garlic. And we're gonna put everything together in this other skillet over here. And let it all cook together. So you know it don't take shrimp long at all. So we're going to get these going. I'm going to just cook these and then I'll, once these finish, we'll do the rest. Okay, so we're going to let these cook for about two and a half minutes. Then we're going to turn them over and take them out. And then we're going to do the other half. Okay, so hang tight, you guys. Just going to let them saute a little. And I think I need to adjust my light. So I'll be back while these are cooking. I'm going to adjust the lighting. Okay, you guys. The shrimp is done. Okay, here's a shrimp. And here's a sausage. The sausage I just put in the microwave and covered it for about a minute and a half to two minutes. Now I'm going to go on and do my veggies. I think I'm going to do the celery and the jalapenos. We're just going to saute all the vegetables right quick. Remember, we still have our um, our zucchini and stuff sitting over to the side in the pan or bowl. Okay, now we're going to add this onion. just want to get everything softened up so when we get ready to put everything together so I just put about two tablespoons of vegetable oil in this uh, skillet to saute these onions and celery and jalapenos Okay, and I'm going to throw these, this garlic in here last. This is smelling so good, you guys. So 
So you want to get your onion when it starts looking translucent. You can go on and add your um, garlic in here. Now, if you don't like celery, you can omit the celery, you can omit the jalapeno, you can omit the onion or the garlic. You can use all of them like I'm doing, or you can skip one of them or two of them if you don't like them. But honey, I'm telling you, I am telling you, this is going to be so delicious. Okay, so I think this is good enough right here. Cut the fire up just a little. Well, not fire, but I'm going to cut my precision induction 1800 plus. This thing is awesome, you guys. And it's so handy. I can cook right at the counter, and I don't have to keep moving the camera around when I'm talking to you guys okay so what I'm gonna do now so I'm gonna add this garlic and let the garlic cook up a little and then we're gonna take this off the stove I'm sorry off the precision cooker you guys know what I'm talking about though, right? Yep, you do, you do, you do. Okay, so we're gonna let this garlic cook up a little bit. And then we're gonna mix everything in the big skillet together. Do our vegetables. And I'm gonna put this over a bed of rice, you guys. So, in case you're wondering how I'm going to serve it up, but I'm going to show you in the end. Don't you worry. Woo -wee. Now, with this garlic in here, oh my goodness gracious. Man, I could just eat this by itself. This is. The smell is just, you guys, you just, I wish it was here with me. Man, oh man, oh man. Okay, you guys, I'm going to cook this for about maybe another minute. A minute and a half, probably just about a minute. And then we're going to come back and we're going to finish this meal up. Okay. I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, you guys. We got a different skillet. Now, look at this. Look at all the sweat and water from the salt. See? We just pour that out. We don't need that. Okay, so we still skill it. Got a tablespoon of vegetable oil in here. So we're just gonna saute these vegetables down a little. So we're going to let the vegetables cook. I'm going to put the lid on here. And I'm going to let them cook for about three minutes. Two to three minutes. And then we're going to add the sausage and the shrimp. And I didn't show you guys the 
So here's the veggies and the shrimp and the sausage. So we're going to add everything together with our seasoning very shortly. So we're going to just let these cook down. Okay, we'll be back in a couple of minutes. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to add the sausage. We don't want that juice in there, though. sauteed vegetables. I'm going to just add all that in there. And we're going to let it simmer for about three minutes. Let all those flavors cook together. Okay, now I'm going to add my seasonings in here. Okay, and what I don't use, I like to put in a little container or a Ziploc bag. Uh oh that fell out, so that means I'm supposed to eat it. Okay. Very tasty. Okay, as I was saying, any of my seasons that I don't use, I put in a Ziploc bag and I use them at a later time. season yours according to your taste. So I think this is going to be it for me. Uh-oh. Wow. You guys, I'm just losing stuff. Trying to get used to cooking at the counter. That shrimp want me to eat it too. Okay, I'm going to put the lid back on because I don't want to keep stirring it because I'm going to end up messing up my vegetables. So I'm going to let it sit and um, simmer for about two minutes and we'll come back and have a good old nice bowl of veggies and rice. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, you guys, now 
It's time to taste it. it looks delicious. Just trying to get a little bit of everything on there. Okay, there we are. And I like to use this um this little seasoning, liquid seasoning. Okay, this is gonna be my plate, you guys. And I'm going to just put this in a bowl. Okay. I'll be right back, you guys. Then we're going to have a taste. Okay, you guys. Ooh, it look good. See that rice up under there? So, BJ is going to go dive in. I'm going to give me some vegetables, some shrimp, some sausage. Just get it all. Mm. I'd be wishing so bad you guys be here with me. It's so good. I'm going to show you the sauce. Okay, you guys. I use this. I put a little of this on there. And this going to just give it a nice kick to it. Man. You don't understand. You don't understand. Ooh. You want to go get you a bottle of this. Thank you for rolling with BJ in the kitchen. I will see you here again next time. Until then, be blessed, be safe. I love you. Good night.